The Delhi High Court is set to hear Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's petition challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate. Now, in response to Kejriwal's petition, the ED submitted a reply claiming that the Aam Aadmi Party chief is the kingpin of the liquor policy scam. Earlier refusing any interim relief to the Chief Minister, the High Court issued a notice to the Enforcement Directorate seeking its reply to the Chief Minister's plea. Currently, Kejriwal is in Delhi's Tihar Jail. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court of India has granted bail to sitting member of parliament and senior Aam Aadmi Party leader Sanjay Singh. The Rajya Sabha lawmaker had been in jail since his arrest last October. Well, the Enforcement Directorate had arrested Sanjay Singh in the alleged excise policy scam case. The Supreme Court asked the agency why Singh was kept in jail for over six months without a trial or recovery of the alleged bribe amount. The Enforcement Directorate had alleged that Sanjay Singh received 2 crore rupees, which is around $240,000 in bribes. However, the bench also added that the concession given in the court to Sanjay Singh will not be treated as a precedent in other cases of ARP leaders, including Arvind Kedriwal. Well, the bench also observed orally that Sanjay Singh will be entitled to undertake and continue with his political activities. Earlier, party leader Atishi alleged that she received a phone call from the BJP warning her that four ARP leaders, including herself, will face legal action by central agencies if they do not join the Bharatiya Janta Party. Now, the Aam Aadmi Party has accused the BJP ruled central government of using the central investigation agencies for political purposes. The BJP has rubbished the allegation and maintains that the probe against corruption is not politically motivated and will continue. Well, we are now joined uh, by a correspondent, Dharamjot Kaur. Dharamjot, what is the latest that you can give us on this hearing that is about to happen today of Arvind Kejriwal's? Uh, well, Isha, as we know, the High Court today is hearing uh, uh, the plea that Aam Aadmi Party had earlier filed to dismiss Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, calling it illegal uh, in the first place. Uh, now, the court had uh, dismissed the plea and had asked the enforcement director to file uh, its response uh, in, in, in relation to this case, uh, which the probe agency did last evening. Now, the hearing today uh, is on the key question, that is, is the Delhi chief minister entitled to an immediate release or not? Now, uh, as to what the ED response that was filed yesterday, the probe agency said that uh, the Aam Aadmi Party had committed the offence of money laundering through the Delhi chief minister, and thus the offences have been covered under Section 70 of the Prevention Money Laundering Act. Uh, and they also said that the arrest that was carried out was as per the provisions and procedures of Section 3 of the same Act. So there was no illegal uh, method that was used in the entire arrest and search that was carried out by the Enforcement Directorate, and this is what their reply is. So today the bench will be hearing both sides once again. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, you know, following Sanjay Singh's release uh, yesterday by the Supreme Court, Arvind Kejriwal's legal team is also trying to count on the fact uh, that the court will take cognizance of the fact that there is no evidence that has so far come up uh, which is linking several ARP leaders to the case. Isha? Should the hearing go in uh, Arvind Kejriwal's favour, Dharamjot, what would that mean? Would that mean immediate release for the Chief Minister right now? Yes, yes. Uh, so if uh, uh, the High Court decides that uh, you know they, they have taken cognizance of the plea and they will rule in the favour of the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, then, uh, you know, it, the, the plea then tends to have uh, an upper hand uh, in terms of the current judicial custody that Arvind Kejriwal is in. Um, so he will be released from custody in that case, which he is currently in till, um, till April 15th. Um, and having said that, because he already uh, retains his chief ministerial position, um, you know, the order, if it comes in Amani's favor, Amani party's favor, will be seen as a big political win by Arvind Kejriwal and the party. Okay. Isha? Thank you so much, Dharamjot, for joining us with those details. We are sure you'll keep getting us more on that particular case. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.